Okay, hey guys, the purpose of this video is to do a motor swap for an Andy's um, Master or Fade Master. Here is uh, Andy's uh, Fade Master. Um, I just went ahead and purchased a motor from a website. Um, I'll leave the link in the description box. Uh, I believe it was $16 and then um, some other dollars for shipping. Um, I did expedited shipping, so it was a couple more, but um, otherwise it's kind of cheap. Uh, it's definitely better than purchasing a, a brand new uh, machine and so uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out as mentioned so I'm gonna start with flathead so using your flathead go ahead and unscrew the protective front plate And you can put that aside and then inside you'll notice the motor and you'll actually notice uh, the exact replica of the motor um, that I purchased here. So the next step is to remove this screw right here. It's the stud screw holding it down. And then you want to remove the plastic tab here or the the switch um, all it th that takes is just a lift right here and should come off to take out the rest of the assembly uh, you want to use a phillips screwdriver to remove the screw right here take off the switch Putting this plastic piece aside. And here's a switch with all the hair from all my personal haircuts I did. <laughs> so to remove the actual motor assembly, um, you'll want to then unscrew these two screws here. Keeping in mind to um, keep the screws and the washers together when you remove them so that you don't lose them. So in this case it's a lock washer, so it's a long screw, a long screw with a, a lock washer. See that? Okay, put that aside and I'll screw the other one. Oh, it should be able to be removed from the machine. So just give it a couple wiggles and it should be loose. From here you can take off the little blue paper here, it's protective. Um, just put that aside for further use. And then all you have to do here is match up the, the wires from your new motor to your old motor. Just match it to the um, new assembly. As you can tell, it's it's rather identical. Once you take it apart, you can actually pull on it. Um, it is kind of soldered from the factory, so you can pull it apart like so. And you'll notice that this one goes through the cord, probably the ground. I guess it's the ground. And then uh, the motor assembly, um, you have to disconnect the the red wire. So I could find it here. There's the red wire. This too will be 
covered in hair, but that's okay. I'll be cleaning this machine right after this. Um, remove the electrical tape here. To expose the red wire. The red wire goes to white. Okay. So just keep that in mind when removing it. You can pull it or you can kind of cut it if you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because there's some thing holding it. With the clipper um, internals cleaned out, as you can see here, um, I ended up using this type of brush to kind of insert in different areas to clean out, like so. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and insert the new um, coil assembly, and by doing that, um, just put it through where it was before. Like so, you're gonna get the red and black and white cable, these two, underneath the assembly. Swing this arm over top. Oops. Like so. note is before you put the motor assembly you're going to want to put this big um, washer on the bottom of here. You notice this washer doesn't go beyond the treading of the screw. Also notice that there are two very thin washers that go in between the swing arm. Um, right here this little swingy thing so it goes one one washer goes in between there oh come up one washer goes in the top and one washer goes on the bottom so just keep that in mind so I'll go ahead and put this um, third washer on the very bottom take off the machine or the coil rather real quick Okay, have the big washer in there. Hopefully it doesn't move. The assembly back, call assembly. Call assemblies back. Put the two R's between there. And then get your set screw with the two washers. I'm gonna just put one on it for now. This little swing arm in between, and then put your other washer like so. Then put that back onto your machine and make sure that this um, lines up with your arm. Um, something to note when you're reinstalling this, you're going to have to loosen this right here. In order to do so, uh, there's two holes here. You could just use some pliers, um, insert them right there, like so, and then twist uh, left to lefty loosey. And then uh, you could even uh, loosen this if you're having trouble, further trouble by using flathead. Um, but just keep that in mind. Uh, when you're screwing this down, they'll make it much easier to tighten this down.
bit less tension and you can put this back just like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw this down. Is that screw? Um, it's not all the way down just yet. And I'm going to put down the motor assembly arms. Put the two screws here and in here and here. Remember this comes with a, a lock washer. Um, so. Since this does come with lock washers for these two screws, just tighten it till it stops. 